Hey, Benny Fish. It's the 11th of April, 2018. And I just wanted to bring this up to people who may not be aware that Russia has now vowed, basically, that they will shoot down any U.S. missiles fired at Syria and their launch sites targeted. That's coming from Russian Ambassador Alexander Zekspin. Okay, and at the same time, very shortly thereafter, you have Trump in a tweet just over an hour ago. Russia vows to shoot down any missiles fired at Syria. Get ready, Russia, because they'll be coming. Nice and new and smart. You shouldn't be partners with a gas-killing animal who kills his people and enjoys it. I don't know where Donald Trump is getting his information, but he apparently knows something that nobody else knows. And that is proof that Assad carried out this attack. Okay? Now, this is really strange and very important because this actually relates to the Trump Tower fire and to the Holy Fire ritual that they did and to the Queen. I know you. this is crazy, but I'm telling you, this is how stuff comes to me. The Queen, this just came out yesterday. The Queen jokes about Trump. And this just came out yesterday, both courtesy of CNN. Trump and Obama won't be at Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding. And what caught me was the queen here makes a joke and makes it a point to mention the video in which Barack Obama and all them do their little boom. You understand what I'm saying? The boom. This is where they're referring to. And if we look back on this actual video here you can see it there's just a lot of connections here that I want to get into later but for now the important thing is to know that you know these times that we're in are so critical to your to your eternal life you, you, if you don't understand that you know the the things that are coming more or less should force you into looking into these things a little more closely because death is nothing to, to joke about you're gonna die. Life is temporary. This flesh will perish. But your soul, your soul, my friend, it goes somewhere. And what you do and what you believe in this life makes a difference. Big time. And one last thing. When I was looking at this a few minutes ago, it just came upon me, like it usually does, to just pull a random Bible verse. And I pulled up Joel 2. Okay? And you need to read Joel 2. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm. The day of the Lord cometh. Okay? A fire devour before them. And a flame burneth. Nothing shall escape. The appearance of them is appearance of horses and horsemen. The noise of a flame of fire. Okay? This is what I am seeing over and over and over again the foxes samson the holy fire the trump fire all these things are coming into like a one big kind of focal point and i can't put my finger exactly on it but i can tell you this things are coming very very serious things are coming and you need to be right with god you need to know jesus you need to understand who he is and what he did for you, pertaining to your eternal soul. Okay? Now, this is just crazy that Joshua passed away today according to the Jewish calendar. Nisan 26, 411. Okay? And we can get deeper, and I will, hopefully, later on. But I gotta go. But I wanted you all to be aware that this is going on. That this is more than just the usual rhetoric. This is something that can really turn into something <laughs> very serious very quickly. So please be prayed up and keep looking up as always. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. 
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 